boys do we got a video today supreme sellout times some of the most contentious and the most exciting things that can happen on the day of a release while i say exciting i could also say heartbreaking because sometimes our favorite items unfortunately get away from us whether it's by bots the terrible shopify queue or we're just super slow and missing all of our captures supreme can sell out relatively fast and let's be honest guys that's one of the big reasons why we're huge fans of it because if you get lucky sometimes you can cop an item that turns out to be worth more than what you paid so today guys we're gonna look over every single thing that sold out from supreme week one of fall winter 24 and then go over to stockx.com to get a resale estimation on each of these pieces to see which item was the king of week one you won't want to miss it let's get right into it all right y'all before we get started i want to remind you to please hit like on the video and subscribe to the channel hit the noti bell to stay up to date every single time i post and go live i will be going live tomorrow thursday august the 29th to see the supreme air force one mids come out mostly just to talk supreme the seasonal preview overall and whatever you guys want to talk about there maybe some other drops be sure to hop in there and we are 70 subs away from 3k at 3k i am going to be doing a video where i go over every single supreme item that i own i don't know what the format's going to be if i'm going to do it on a live but we're definitely going to do that at some point so let me know what you would like to see and maybe some format suggestions for that video but all of that out of the way let's look at the first item that sold out from supreme week one i mean here you go guys the supreme shot leather racer jacket i said it before this item was gonna be hot and it certainly flew the green and leopard colorway is incredibly iconic it's so loud but yet so sleek we still have the black available in a full size run you can't see it right there but small medium large xl i think that's still worth it to go in and get it if you want it if you like a leather jacket but the green one clearly the best one to go for one of the items i comped this week was the s logo track jacket in black i thought it was just super clean it matches my ducati pants we'll see if i end up selling it or keeping it i went to get a medium i'll probably try it on do a little fit check see how we like it but 178 for a track jacket from supreme i don't have any supreme track jackets right now and that's kind of a criminal thing to say and to admit as a supreme youtuber i figured this would be a good guy to keep for the personal white is still available small medium and large blue is also sold out the boucle zip up shirt sold out this is that wool blend with full zip closure and patch wasn't a huge fan of this just don't really like the materials we have a small and a medium left in the orange and the black is also sold out really clean piece i could definitely see a lot of people being fans of it and i'm sure if i threw it on i'd probably like how it looked aoyi's ss work shirt ss aka short sleeve like this short sleeve denim shirt i'm wearing right now from last season aoy returns not some of their best work since we've seen them make stuff for supreme every single season lately but that's okay it's not all going to be bangers i don't think this stuff is bad i think the eye design is very cool 1-800 supreme i'm kind of either way on it sorry for the coffee burp right there stripe one's pretty decent 138 too not too expensive all right the accent brushed zip up hooded sweatshirt this guy flew relatively fast i want to say i said i didn't like these brushed acrylic designs because i felt like the material was a little bit itchy a little scratchy but maybe that's just been my personal experience i think it is a pretty cool design and you don't really see supreme drop this kind of piece too often with this type of material along with this weird logo it is kind of neat it's not something that would get me to spring 188 bucks up and just say hey take my money and tax and shipping but for some people it was here's one that i stated in my video was going to definitely sell out was the champion studded hooded sweatshirt i mean it has all the telltale signs of a great supreme sports related piece big football helmet on it it's got a really nice vintage look with the combination of the rhinestones big spell out cool years from supreme's history new york and it was only 188 bucks eastern conference champions i think this guy is super dope and might have even been a sleeper item what do you think the embroidered script hooded sweatshirt is sold out in a few colorways we can see the stone which is one of the colorways i said could go quick purple surprisingly full size run black almost everything so really the only color to go 
go for for this one was this stone colorway. Isn't that funny how that happens? And this can't happen when there's too many colorways created and people just see the trendy item. They see the trendy colorway and they want to target that one. Everyone collaborated in the Supreme Illuminati meeting and we all said stone is the one we're going to go for. Small box zip up hooded sweatshirt. What did I say guys? The camo one sold out and the pink one sold out. I believe that's what I said in my video. Correct me if I am wrong, but everything else pretty much has a full size run, which is dope because these sleeper pieces, these very simple items should be able to be purchased relatively easily, in my opinion. Next, we have the athletic studded long sleeve top. I also kind of predicted this guy would sell out. Everything but white is out of stock. White actually has a large and an extra large, but yeah, it's got a nice cut to it. I like that seam on the very top of the shirt. That is pretty cool kind of a jersey looking design and just overall it looks pretty cool i think it's world famous supreme team is what i decided that means next up the s logo baseball henley the first item that we got cucked from during the live cop we were going for the size large or extra large woodland camo on the live cop I had a lot of people in there so thanks guys for coming out i think it was a new stream record at like 238 concurrent viewers at one point which is super awesome really appreciate it but this guy sold out i mean it's no question it's an s logo simple jersey it's got embroidered patches on it it's not too busy but it's not too simple I think it's a great piece and it sold out. The Patchwork Yoke Football Top. This piece, I was calling it in my first week one video, like very cool item, 98 bucks. It's a little patchwork football top. Like if I had a little bit more disposable income right now, this would be a no brainer. Like it's a very cool shirt. I don't know which colorway I would have gone with though. I think this one might be my favorite, the stone. It's not quite red, white, and blue. Like this is more of like a charcoal brick and then a cream stone color, but it's still pretty neat. I like that color combination. I love the patchwork design right there. It looks handmade and it's no question it sold out. Come on. Small box tee sold out in the True Timber HTC Fall Camo. I believe that's 250 headshots in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. But anyway, this dude sold out. Everything else is still in stock. It's a nice small box, embroidered patch. 60 bucks for a t-shirt is expensive, but Supreme does have that exclusive cut. All right, getting into the pretty much only Supreme t-shirt that sold out, the Tyler the Creator tee. Kind of wild. I actually ended up passing on this, surprisingly. The reason why is even though I love Tyler and I was really gassed up when I saw that he got his own t-shirt, I was extremely disappointed we didn't get a green colorway. The fact that we didn't get a green colorway and the fact that I just have been telling myself, Thomas, you buy too many t-shirts, I just didn't really want to buy one just to flip. Even though it could have been probably a pretty easy flip if I got it in black, I decided to just let it go and focus on other items this week. But still, a very awesome design and I know a lot of you copped and definitely send me pictures of you wearing your Tyler the Creator tee. Maybe I'll put y'all on the live stream rocking your new Supreme tees. Emo tee is next. Only sold out in the powder blue colorway. And the only reason why I'm even showing this is because it's the only other t-shirt that ended up selling out. Believe that. T-shirts guys are no longer the bread and butter of easy resale. You're better off focusing on higher tier exclusive items, things that have more potential to be limited and sell out. T-shirts it seems are still being overproduced. I wonder if this will change as Supreme gets under the new Exelor Luxottica parent company that purchased them from BF Corp. We will just have to wait and see. But for now, Emo T is gone. Embroidered script sweatpant is next, sold out in the stone colorway to match the tops and the black. Orange also still in stock, kind of simple, but a nice piece. And I guess the stone one was the best one. And for sweatpants, people can never go wrong with black. Another pair of pants that I was mentioning in my week one video were these regular jeans in the snake colorway. These ended up selling out and it is cool to see that people are taking risks and buying these kind of out there and loud pieces and I totally forgot you can click on supreme items now and just scroll. That is pretty cool and probably looks way better than all this white space that we've been looking at. So apologies for that. I'm still getting used to this new format of Supreme's website, but 158 was the price on these jeans, still available in tons of other colorways. The small box sweat shorts return for fall winter 24 and sold out in the woodland camo. Let's get some better pictures of that. Now I'm going to get this habit in my head, I swear. But anyway, the camo one was the only one that sold out because it's that unique color. Everything else you can kind of get from season to season colors vary slightly. The Arabic label camp cap is the first hat that sold out first in the charcoal colorway. Do we have anything else? It is sold out in brown as well. So brown and charcoal 
were the ones to get. Did you guys cop the right color or did you not? Military Camp Cap also sold out in the olive colorway. This is actually a very classic looking Supreme hat. The red on the olive looks so good. The Sup 94, yeah, I was kind of shitting on this hat a little bit, but it's definitely a sleeper design to be sure. Also sold out in blue. Look at that. Did you guys cop the military camp cap? I would say get it before it's gone and maybe the black or even the black raindrop or the tan raindrop. For a hat, I can actually tolerate this pattern pretty well and think it looks relatively decent. All right, one of the hats we copped was not the coveted green colorway, which I think will resell for the most. I'm just calling it right now. We did cop it in the bright pink, which is is a little bit loud, but I've always wanted an S logo hat. I don't have any bright pink hats really, so I decided to go for it. Barely. Oh, look at this. Khaki is still available. Desert camo is still in stock too, but yeah, it's a classic S logo panel. You can't go wrong and it's iconic for a reason. Now I told you guys, and I hope someone in the community cop this beanie because I have a prediction haven't looked at StockX, but I have a prediction this is going to resell for a decent amount. It ended up selling out in the black and the lime and the navy and the light pink. Every single colorway, the hearts beanie sold out. And I should have thrown it in my cart, to be honest, but I wasn't really thinking about it during that time. And that's the problem with sleeper pieces. They can fall asleep on you and catch you by surprise. But I just love the design of this beanie. I like the hearts. I like the names of the stores because they look like a pattern or the Supreme Script logo looks great. $40 for a beanie. The cuff is decent. I'm really bouncing on this thing right now, but you know, I like it and we'll see what it sells for in a second. The Hulkin rolling tote bag. People were telling me to buy this. I just didn't have a use for it. And I would have tried to resell it and I wasn't sure it was going to sell out, but it did. $138 for a giant rolling tote bag my boy mob syndicate in the community said he's using this as a pickleball hopper he's filling this thing up with pickleballs during his lessons and i say right on brother you gotta flex on those 70 year olds when you're giving them pickleball lessons the solvarsky crystal box cutter sold out this guy was overpriced but it was very limited i don't think there's gonna be a ton of resale on this thing <laughs> Also, given that it's likely a US only item, I think this thing will probably even sell for under retail at some point because I know someone bought this looking to flip it instantly. And when people don't want to pay 300 bucks for a damn box cutter, they will be surprised. But for the hardcore collectors, people that are very into just buying everything with Supreme, it is a kind of cool piece, I have to say. I've just never been a big Solvarsky crystal guy. Early Meyer Flask also sold out 36 bucks. We had to cop this thing. I mean, look, it's a damn Supreme. Erlenmeyer Lask. This is chemical. This is very chemistry. I love it. Made by Hario. Everyone knows Hario and I can't wait to get this in low key. The drug skateboard sold out. Very funny design. I think putting this on your wall would be pretty hysterical. Best colorway. I mean, they're pretty much the same. I'd say maybe the black, but they're both relatively similar. Actually different sizes. If you look at that, this is 8.375 by 32.125. And this one is 8.25 by 32. Holy shit. That is way too heady for me. And the adult film star Tara Patrick skateboard ended up selling out as well you can get some close-up logos right there it's a shame that this shot is zoomed in right here my right boys come on but yeah no brainer this one went pretty quickly and the t-shirt surprisingly didn't though like wouldn't you think that'd be the same apparently people want the big picture wonder why and last but not least this should have been covered earlier but it must have gotten kicked to the bottom of the queue the waffle small box sweater sold out in a few colorways everything but the stripe melange and the burgundy melange, which the burgundy looks pretty clean. Sold out in stone and black. Interesting. This is a small box sweater. Nothing special. Small box. We like to see it. Now let's head over to StockX and see what everything is selling for. Here we are on StockX.com looking at the shot leather racer jacket. Now quickly just saying this is not a definitive indicator of the entire resale market as a whole. You can definitely see items sell on private sales on different websites for different prices. Right here, it just gives us an indication for what the general feeling of the market is. So that is why we are using StockX. So the retail on this leather jacket was $8.98. You can look at the market price right here. Only two have sold, one for $12.50, one for $11.54. The $1,300 is the lowest ask right now. And there you go. Try to speed through this part of the video. I know I talked a lot at the beginning, but so many items ended up selling out for week one, surprisingly. The Bocal Zip Up shirt is next. Retail was $168. Last sold for $215. Lowest ask right now is $235. And you can 
see all the sales right there behind me. S logo track jacket, not selling for a whole lot right now, surprisingly. 178 was the retail price, lowest ask is 202. You can see all the different sizes right there. Market data, actually quite a bit have sold. Looks like the highest one was maybe 230 for an XL. The eyes short sleeve work shirt by AOI, 138 retail. Last sale was 120. Lowest ask right now is 178. And you can see the sales right there, highest one sold was 192 for a size extra large and that did sell on the day of the drop right there like i say guys it's always best if you're going for that resale try to sell it immediately the accent brushed zip up hooded sweatshirt in this current resale economy you can see the lowest ask right there 144 and the sold pieces and prices are right there xxl sold for 251 you can see the last sales are all around 245 market data right here haven't really touched much above 250 on this piece, but I think this price will continue to go up as people realize this is a pretty sick little hoodie right here. The script sweatpants, someone is asking 62. I forget that's the people that are trying to bid. The bidders are wanting this for the low low, so they drop those low balls and just see what happens. Looks like none of these have sold quite yet, which makes sense given that a lot of them are still sitting on the website in stock. The script hoodie, on the other hand, has actually sold. This guy was 158. You can see the sales right here, 165, 195. It's not a whole lot. This guy really relied on those larger sizes selling on StockX. Small box T, 60 bucks retail, last sold for 78, lowest ask right now is 77. And after fees, you're not doing great. First guy though, got in and got out. He sold it for 110. You can't see it, but trust me, it's there. And 100 bucks, 100 bucks. That's actually not bad. If you sold this for 110, day one, it's a pretty decent flip. Small box sweat shorts. These were only 118 and ended up selling for, wow, last sold for 199. So the sweat shorts continue to be pretty decent little items if you get the right color Way if you get the right size, I guess. Two double XL is sold for 200. Now people are asking 180 to 220. I think a fair ask for these would be like, yeah, 199 doesn't seem too bad. And that's a decent little profit. It's not amazing. Those are just the facts, guys. It's really hard to do this as a full-time job, and I would not recommend anyone do that. S Logo Baseball Hanley, this could have been us. We could have been this reseller making dozens of dollars on this piece. The size large, people are asking 179. What were the day one sales for a large? 198, that's pretty decent, actually. 213, too, is not too bad at all. A couple of these prices are yeah, fairly all right for a Henley. And I think this will only continue to slowly rise as time goes on. That seems to be what happens with jerseys. It's kind of cool though. The Athletic studded long sleeve top 118. It said this was kind of a sleeper. You can see the asking prices right here and they sold for as high as 164 in this colorway. And looks like, ooh, a 229 last sale. What is that? Must've been an incorrect thing. Sometimes down here, that last sale is actually like a lowest ask for one of the sizes or it's just completely wrong and it tricks me quite often all right what are people paying for the patchwork yoke football top 98 dollars was the retail looks like they've sold as high as 148 for an extra large this colorway 133 and did we already look at the green one i'm not too sure i think we did 189 for an extra large that's actually not bad hundred dollars profit if you pretend like there's no fees and shipping and taxes and all that all right the tyler t it was 54 dollars retail plus shipping and handling people are selling it for the high 70s some have sold for as high as 100 for the right sizes those double xls even a size small went for 100 which is nuts double xl went for 110 as the first item definitely one of those items that relied on the larger sizes for any kind of considerable profit i think if you hold these long enough sell them to the right person i probably wouldn't use stock x i think this would be a better off like an ebay perhaps a grailed but what do i know emo t no bids but somehow there was one sold for 85 bucks someone bought a medium off the website and someone even sold a black two of them when it was still in stock that is really funny i always like seeing that i think it's a dedicated work of some hustlers i don't want this honey notification but there you go the regular jeans retail 158 a couple have sold for wow 250 223 213 not bad at all a pretty cool pair of jeans and these are the current asking prices for the various sizes arabic logo camp cap i think this one is still in stock somehow it's done a ton of numbers because this is the wrong one this is the fall winter 23 edition 
and can I get to the fall winter 2024? Here's the 2024 edition. None have sold in the gray charcoal and it looks like none of the other colorways have sold either. So yeah, Arabic camp, like I said before, Supreme hats, especially ones that release in tons of colorways can be tough to resell during the season. They are more medium term holds. And the Pigment S logo six panel looks like the coveted green colorway is selling for not too high above retail. So if you want this hat, guys, it's pretty much selling for retail. 55 bucks. I mean, you're going to pay some shipping and handling and taxes and whatever. But yeah, the lowest ask is 69 bucks. I guess I could sell it for 59 for 55 right now. People are asking 69. But I think if you just keep putting your asks up and bids and all that stuff, I think this could be pretty easily obtained for close to the retail price. Price. Military camp. Look at that. Last sold for a hundred. Wow. People really liked this guy. Look at that volume. Pretty cool. And this is the wrong camp cap. Yet again, I got bamboozled. This is SS24. Tell me how that didn't look exactly the same as this one. Very similar. This is much more like it. 55, 47. Those are bids. What are sales? 62, 67. And it looks like, dude, someone sold this for 125. You're shitting me. $100. Wow. And it's still in stock on the site. That person just did the quick flip. Look at that. You got to respect the hustle. I think there's also just some people that don't know what Supreme.com is. I think you can only buy it on this resale site, which is hilarious to think about. Now, look at this. What did I tell you guys? I said there was potential on this item and the pink beanie has sold for as high as, well, $85. That's okay. It's a $40 beanie sold for $85. I think that's a pretty significant flip. $61 on the pink Louis Vuitton one. Ooh, no sales quite yet, but I'm guessing this one's going to be that sleeper. Just give it some time, give it some time, pick it up before it's too late. Now, the one that pisses me off the most is this gosh darn crystal box cutter. Look at what these idiots are paying. 360, 385 bucks. It hurts my soul. What are people doing? But I guess if you pick this up, you can make a hundred dollars profit. It looks like you could have. Yeah, 350. Gosh dang, look at that. Such a silly item. But some people like it, and I have to respect that. All right, the Hulkin Rolling Tote Bag, 138 retail. Let's look at the sales. Quite a lot of volume. People wanted that Rolling Tote Bag, 207. I guess it's not too surprising. It is a pretty large Supreme bag. Certainly better than any of the other bags they released or their actual bags category. This is technically an accessory. So pretty neat to see this guy doing some numbers. Big Supreme branding, Hulkin. You got multiple handles. I get it. All right, the early Meyer flask. You can see I had a little goofy $69 ass just right off rip. Just seeing what would happen, seeing what I could do with it. But 36 bucks looking like these are selling for just a little bit above retail, like mid 50s. I probably wouldn't sell it for that much. But if someone happens to want to pay $69, I wouldn't mind parting with it. Drug skateboard. I picked the set to look at right here. Looks like none have sold quite yet, but the individual ones, one sold for 99 in the black colorway and none have sold for the silver and there's actually no bids either but a couple asks right there we'll see if anyone ends up picking these up later on i guess and last but certainly not least the tara patrick skateboard 60 dollars. could this be the king of week one or the queen of week one i should say look at that volume pretty gnarly pretty nuts i'd say it's probably tied between this and maybe the racer leather we'll have to do the calculations later but holy crap this was a much longer video than i expected but i hope you guys enjoyed so there you go folks that was supreme week one and everything that ended up selling out what did you pick up and what do you think about all the items that ended up going there was quite a lot of pieces for us to look at and i think some of the highlights include like i said the shot leather racer jacket in the 1100 dollar price range i think the boucle might have been that sleeper selling for in the 200s drug skateboard not too bad either i think 110 for the black for a 60 dollar board if you got free shipping, that's not terrible at all. And the hearts beanie. I mean, a pink beanie that was 40 bucks selling for 97 is a pretty significant flip if I do say so myself. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today. I hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for my stream tomorrow or the Supreme Air Force One mid drop. Week two will come out the following Thursday on September the 5th. Until then, guys, stay safe. Drink lots of water. Drink more coffee, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.